Sunday live, your place to come in with your questions and uh, allow me to introduce myself, Susan Lazar Hart, the congruency coach for creatives, for seekers, the creator of congruent living coaching and my new baby, the congruent living assessment. So if you had, haven't had a chance to take it, uh, thank you so much. Hey, Nicola, thank you so much for all of you who've been writing me back with your results from the congruent living assessment with your aha, aha moments. So grateful for that. And uh, I'll put the link in here, uh, you know, probably after we finish. If not, it's just SusanLazarHeart.com forward slash assessment. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hey, Eureka, welcome, welcome. Uh, tell us where you're from. We've got a lot of international people who are peeps with congruent living. If you come in later, press hashtag replay. You know, I always check in. Hey, Janie, welcome, welcome. Today, it's a big one. And I know I always say that, but every day is a big one, right? That's why we're alive and on the planet. Hey, Bridget, to create and make that difference that we came here to make. Uh, today, it's about living as the question, living in the question. Uh, and a lot of people are busy asking questions. And we're going to talk about all the difference between that. Hey, Eureka, welcome, welcome. So if you're listening, if this is good for you, press hashtag question. <laughs> If you're new to Ask Susan, it's not a dialogue or a monologue. It really is a conversation and, and the juicy questions that you have. I just love it. Nicole says, hi, I'm from Woodbury, Minnesota. Nice, nice, nice. So one of the awarenesses that I had this week is there are a lot of people who are saying, I'm, I'm asking questions, I'm asking questions, I'm asking questions. And there's, a, there's a, an allowance and a receiving that goes with that. So questions open up windows and doors to possibilities. Possibilities open up windows and doors to probabilities. So if you're willing to be in the question, the question of possibility, you notice how that lines up with what you're asking for, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, and the probabilities become more apparent for you. And you might have said, oh, geez, you know what? I was asking for this like three years ago and I forgot all about it. And wham, here it is, whatever that is. Relationship, hey, Trisha, relationship, uh, shift in money, uh, shift in the planet, shift in the way you be on the planet. Right? So my question for you is, are you making yourself busy, driving yourself crazy by saying, what question can I ask? What question can I ask? What question can I ask? And have you already made a decision about what the answer should be or what something should look like or how it should, should, should turn out? Well, what I'm asking you to do is to kind of be gut honest with yourself. Hey, Mary, welcome. Be gut honest with yourself and ask yourself what, what, what precedes that four seconds before you're asking the question and what, what is that energy shift for you? when you do ask a question. Do you ask a question from a space of allowance? Do you ask a question from a space of curiosity? Do you ask a question from a space of wonderment? Do you ask a question with focus in it? So a great example of that is, you know, I'll often ask people, so go out six months from now, go out three months from now, what do you get a sense of? What do you see? And they're like, oh, I see, you know, multi-million dollar business. I see uh, a juicy, joyous sexual relationship. I see, and I've been asking for that. Susan, I've been asking for that. And I'm like, great, let's chunk it down. What action did you put into the universe today that would let the universe know, oh, I got a thumbs up on that. Let the universe know you're actually an allowance of what you're asking for to show up, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, right? So what, what does that require? It actually requires you being in allowance, right? Not asking for allowance, you being in allowance, you being the space of receiving information with no judgment, you being the presence of open, 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 right? And in, you know, you might ask, well, Susan, how can I be open and focused at the same time? Right? Thank you for that. So whoever's thinking that I, I just got the download of that one. It's about, uh, what is it that you're asking to create? So for me, I live a creative life. Now, 
I'm going to be seeing my little grand beings next uh, tomorrow. Yay! Haven't seen them since March. And I made these these loop bags, and it must have, you know, about 30 minutes or 40 minutes, just putting stickers on bags, having the best time, being creative, right? That changed me. Right? That changed all the chemicals inside of me. It's because I'm I'm willing to be creative no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes. So people will say, oh, Susan, you don't paint anymore. That's too bad. You were such a successful painter. Aren't you, what do you do to be creative? Well, my life is creative. Right? So if I had bought their questions as true and real about me, uh, I actually don't. I get where they're coming from. But I'm in total loving allowance of anybody having their point of view about who I should be, what I should be, and how I should be, because I'm living in the question of, huh, so what am I gonna be doing in this 10 seconds? What does that create? Like, my focus is creativity. Okay, so let me know, uh, write in a, you know, yes, I get it, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I wanna see where we're, are we in the right lane here? Right, I, I love to see if we're in the right lane, uh, put in a, a heart or a, whatever that is for you. Because it's very, it's very important to get that you can keep yourself busy asking for questions rather than being in the question, being in the question of your life. What, body, show me what clothing you like to wear, right? Body, show me what you'd like to eat today. Body, that's being in the question. You chose a body in this lifetime. It's being in the question of having a body. I'm just going to check on here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it, the, it's what, what are you? Truly, 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 ask yourself, what am I willing to receive, right? And, and take some time with you, right? Being in the question is not having to run and, and do something. It's, it's about, it, but it's also not, it's, it's not waiting for something to be done to you. It's really asking, okay, so what, what does this look like? What could this take? If I did create that, what, what would it look like? What would it take? And then be, and being present with that, with who you be. That's true congruency. A lot of people have been asking me, says, well, what does congruency mean? Right? Congruency is where all parts and pieces mesh together. Right? Mary, uh, yes, I need to let it happen, not make it happen. I often uh, tell myself this. Yeah. And you might ask, you know, that's, I love that. Thank you so much, Mary. That's where I, I'll t I take like what I call an aerial view. I'm like, I'll ask myself, well, who am I being? With total loving allowance of that showing up. Oh gosh, my mom always, my mom used to say, better to say something than nothing at all. You don't want people to think you're wrong. Okay, that, that, that had nothing to do with me. It gave her an, me an insight into who she chose to be. Hi, Erica. So it's, it's really that question of like, oh, so who am I being? Right? And being in the question of, 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 oh, does this work for me? What would it take to change this? What, what, what else could I choose here? I could choose to be in total loving allowance, right? Great, let me know if that assists you at all, Mary. Thank you so much for your comments. Again, if you're new to Ask Susan, this is about people coming in with their comments, with their questions about shifting and changing the energies of what we've decided we are into who we truly be, right? I know a lot of people are throwing in great words like fifth dimension, third dimension, star seeds, uh, whatever that is for you. Let's go beyond all that, <laughs> right? Yeah, I was talking with a client uh, the other day right out on the, the, the back deck. Hi, Vesna. Um, let's, let's go beyond all that. What's beyond all the words, all the jargon, all the new philosophies, all of that? What's beyond all that for you, right? For you. So it, it's about being in the question of total loving and allowance. And I'm going to repeat this again. If you're willing to be the invitation of possibilities, then you're aware of probabilities. Hey, Karen, welcome, welcome. And, and, and now there's choice, right? There's choice. You're, does this, does this, is this congruent with what I'm focusing on creating with my life and my living? Hey, Mary says, yes, thank you. That makes sense. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Mary, for your question or your comment. Appreciate it so much. So again, you know, it's all about vibrations. We are energetic beings, right? We are energies. We are vibrations. 
So if you're willing to be the question, you create the vibration that will give you the information that you're asking for. Right? If you spend your life just asking a question, asking, asking a question, asking a question, asking a question, many people ask questions to match the vibration of the definition they've decided that they want to have for their life. Oh, I got a thumbs up on that, right? Do you get that? Many people say, oh, I've got to ask a question, I've got to ask a question. They've already decided where that question will take them. And how many people give up on their life, on their living, on being congruent? When it doesn't match that expectation of what they decided asking that question would create. That, you see how, how crazy that is? Because right? you'll, get, you'll get what you're asking for. Right? You'll be that, hey Maureen, welcome. You'll be, if you be that vibration of scarcity, for an example, and you're asking for, I want a million dollars, or I want to create $10,000 a month, whatever that is. You don't, you're not actually believe it's possible. You're not actually living the vibration of wealth and abundance. Hey, Deluna, welcome, welcome. It actually shifts and changes when you're willing to open up to all possibilities and focus in on the probability. Good morning, Elaine, good morning. Uh, love the green. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one of my favorites too. Uh, so is this making sense? Let's, let's take a pause here and, uh, just let's see some hashtags. Yes. Uh, I, I totally get it. The idea of living in the question or no, can you give me some more information, please? If, if, if there's one thing that I would ask of you this week is, are you willing to just check in with yourself and ask yourself, Am I being the question here, right? Because when you're, when you're willing to be the question, you, you get all the information you require. And again, the, the, that being the curiosity, the wonderment, the magic of you, right? That's a vibration that goes out and will attract like vibration. If you ask a question from a point of view or a judgment or a decision, you will get disappointed because you've already decided you will be disappointed if you don't get what you're asking for. You will withdraw if you've already decided if I don't get what I'm getting, I'll withdraw. Hey, Lisa, is this making sense? Can I see some hearts and thumbs up here? Lots of people joining us. Uh, you know, I started right out of the gate, so come back in and uh, re-listen. Uh, write your comments if you're hashtag replay. If you're coming in later, I always check every day. Yeah. It's something that, that, that right now, oh, thanks, I got lots of hearts. It's something right now, you know, it, it's about being quiet within and, and being and asking your questions, hey, Sonali, from that place, that space of who you truly be, not somebody else's space, not somebody else's point of view, not somebody else's information. It's not about resisting and reacting. It's, you know, I see a lot of that right now. People are like, choosing sides or resisting or reacting or whatever that is. That's not my, that's not my world. Uh, great to see you too, Deluna. That's not my world. When I said earlier, it's about going beyond the jargon, going beyond all of that. This is your life, right? This is your life. This is your life. This is your creation. It's about being present and being in total loving allowance. It's not about sitting back and saying, okay, I put out the questions, I don't know why no nobody's answering, or I don't know why nothing's happening. Who are you, what are you, and how are you vibrating to that's creating the vibrations of the information you're asking for? Yeah. And it's gonna come in different ways. Right? And if it's, if it's not yours, it's not yours, <laughs> right? Don't buy anything as real and true. Be in the question, and, and it's not about doubting. It's not like, hmm, is that true? Is that not true? You know, you know, you know if something's light. Right? You know, it, it's like, oh, I wonder if I take this path, what will that create? Because there's so many probabilities. There's so many possibilities. Choose one and, and be that. And if it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't, if it's not congruent with who you be, let it go and, and re refocus. What is it that I came here to be and do? What is it that I'm creating? Does it bring me joy? Is this bringing me joy? Right? That's a question you ask of you if you're willing to be 
the question of your life, right? Uh, if you did know what to do, if you did know what to do, right? How many people are saying, I don't know what to do? Well, so if you did know what to do, what would create the greatest change? If you, right? Be that, be that energy. I have that written down here. I, I love it. I was listening to the two Bowmans and they were talking about it and I just wrote it down. If you did know what to do, what would create the greatest change in the quickest amount of time? For you, not for anybody else. Right? That's living the question. Right? Yeah. All right, if I, no more comments, I don't see anything else popping for people. I adore you all. Uh, Re, have a re-listen to this and, I, and, and write in. I'm really curious, if how is it for you? Is it, are you willing to be the question of your life, right? And that's, again, it's not doubting you. It's not, uh, it's not pulling the rug out from under you. It's about being really, really present, right? And, and asking yourself some questions, but really being, oh, I got some hearts on that, being in the question of your life, being the question of your life. Right? Not being the answer of your life. I love that question, Lisa says. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, if you're watching this on, on replay, uh, press hashtag replay. And uh, if you want to dive deeper, the, what can I tell you? If, if, if you resonate with something that actually isn't congruent in your life and you're asking to shift and change it, uh, reach out for me. Uh, I've created the Congruent Living Coaching uh, it's a, it's not a program. It's about me and you working together every other week and diving deep uh, with home play, with questions. And uh, I'm so excited for the people that have chosen to to take that deep dive. Just you know, go to sunlazarheart.com. Go to Congruent Living Coaching. Read up on what it's about. It's about being congruent. Congruency, again, it, that's where we are right now. That's where, you know, the veil has been lifted. And you can see people who are acting in congruency and being in congruency with themselves, with their life, with they, what they want to focus on, with their future. And you see those who aren't, who are scrambling. Right? Are you a scrambler? Or are you uh, in the question of who you be and what you be and how you be? And again, being in the question is not being in doubt. Being in the question is not going into doubt. It's not going into judgment. It's about being present with the possibilities and the probabilities and asking for what you'd like to show up and being willing to receive whatever it looks like, no matter what it takes, right? And it could come in a totally different way than what you thought. I wonder what that could look like for you. I know it's changed so much for me. So once again, Come on in to Congruent Living Coaching. Check it out on SusanLazarHeart.com. And uh, I will see you next Sunday. Live boldly, love greatly, and be that fearless leader that you came here to be. Right? You came, you chose to come here. Right? You chose a body in this lifetime on this planet right now. What is it you're asking to create? Only you know. Focus. Allowance. Receiving gratitude, appreciation, and wonderment. I wonder what that could create for you today. I adore you, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.